Okay, today is Thursday, November 14th, and it's approximately 9.50 in the morning. I guess you can tell I'm heading back to the Northern Station to, of course, naturally continue to follow up on the denials that they, that they repeatedly, you know, put me under as far as me giving my statement for the 5-1 incident in which the sheriff's deputy nearly broke my wrist. You've got to understand that this is the principle of risk management, what I said all along. Let's not forget that the same principle was used at OCC, the Human Rights Commission, the Mayor's Office of Disability, all these places that are supposed to be there for you. Ha 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 ha. You know, do not allow, supposedly per their policies, the ability for you to voice your complaint and give it in a public place, which of course begs the question of transparency, accountability, everything else. What I've said before in the past was, you know, if they want to, you know, go behind closed doors and misprocess the investigation, everything else, that is on them. However, to deny me the ability to give, you know, what needs to be given so that the complaint can go forward in a public place is subterfuge and a betrayal of their duty and responsibilities. However, it's a beautiful, wonderful Machiavellian game. Anyway, the reason I'm coming back to follow up on, you know, the fact that this has been happening is because if you look at the videos, you'll know where I was illegally 5150 here at the Northern Station and I have received the police report and naturally, you know, the incorrect narrative and everything else and I wish to come in and naturally file a police report and press charges for that. However, you know, I want to be assured that I will not be placed in the same rig methodology which is continued like I said at all the agencies where they do not allow videotaping contrary to what you know is legal. Uh, it's a beautiful evasion of humanity, responsibility. Oh, and you must ask yourself what does it do for justice? You know, what does the illusion do here for justice? Anyway, so like I said, I'm following up with Mr. Ortega, who still has not taken my complaint, my statement, and uh, police report 13049959. You know about the 51 incident. So let us continue to document the farce. Oh, and let's not forget that this is also the same police station that does not record, you know, their cameras on the inside do not record per legal and naturally if you've been watching the YouTube videos and following all the misleads and uh, shall we say misinformation, <coughs> I mean lies, I mean, <coughs> I mean deceit, <coughs> I mean, you know, just more risk management, you know, you will know where legal, you know, <coughs> sent me to uh, DTIS who, you know, they tried to mislead and misinform me into the DTIS was the one who created policies for all of San Francisco Police Department about their video cameras in their station. It's a wonderful, clever ruse and, and, and game, but when you don't have to be accountable for the truth, especially in legal, especially under a sunshine request, which is supposed to be answered within 24 hours, and the game playing continues, folks. So, just to bring you up to speed, here I am. And we will naturally continue to do what's right in the society, which it holds no weight. Hello. How can I help you? Uh, well, I don't know. I can't see and talk to you. Can you come out here and help me? How can I help you, sir? Is that a yes? You can come out here and help me, or? You'll get someone for me? What does that mean? I certainly doesn't I certainly hope it doesn't mean I'm gonna be illegally fifty one fifty again, you know. Now mind you, this is the place that, you know. LGBT safe zone. Ask me if I feel safe telling the truth, you know, in a system that's corrupt. This is also the place that should have disability sensitivity training. And, you know, naturally what we've had all along, you know, been told that these cameras do not record. So, let's just continue.
Now, mind you, you know, we, we live in a civilized society that's based on due process, the truth, you know, verifying. Um, pardon me? Who is it that you're sending out? Who is it that you're sending out? I mean, I'm not going to be falsely 5150'd again, am I? Oh, so I won't be falsely 5150'd again. Okay, thank you. Now, if you've also looked at the past videos, you know, which I've labeled the, you know, uh, I believe it was the anatomy of failure or something along those lines, you know, it shows the rig methodology, you know, the inhumanity and everything else. You've got to remember, you know, for there to be accountability, you have to deal with people who have morals and ethics and, you know, everything else. If, if there's no accountability, you know, and it's a game and it's a ruse, you know, as I've said before, who would want to live in such a place? You know, I keep asking the right questions. It, it, it's amazing, you know, the professionalism and the help and the humanity that, you know, I think you've seen that's been expressed so far for seeking the truth, telling the truth, and holding people accountable. Mind you, I've been told these cameras do not record. Because had they been recording on, you know, the day that I was illegally and fraudulently 5150'd out of this station, you know, you would see that everything I am saying is true and everything that I will, you know, tell you about that was incorrect in this narrative that the police officer issued, you know, will be contested by the videos. It makes you wonder, you know, why am I having such a hard time getting these videos and why, you know, am I feeling like, you know, this is a game of, of, of chance as opposed to, you know, truth, logic, and, you know, protocol. Uh, you know, is it the chance that, you know, they've deceived so many people with misleads and misdirection that, that I just would have been another person along those lines when I was told that these cameras don't recall, uh, record, I'm sorry, and that, of course, naturally, the San Francisco Police Department does not issue policies that it's the DTIS as I, as I was informed by their legal department and when I went to DTIS that was you know of course naturally not the case so you know I will follow up on those issues also you know it, 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 it truly begs a lot of questions as as I stated all along what you know the intent of the police department is you know to enforce the laws and for whom you know serve and protect or is it just to continue the illusion um, you know, unfortunately, you know, I still do not feel safe. Um, I, uh, as a matter of fact, you know, every day have to, like I said, continue to fight to get up and do what's right, you know, when you're ill in a world that will never acknowledge that because, you know, it's a ruse, it's a game, you know. The illusion must continue to, to control the, the sheep, however you know, the truth is a, is, is a far greater harm. Now, another thing that you must also take into consideration is that, you know, this was all done in sunshine, the Freedom of Information Equivalent Act, you know, and the, uh, the, the policies and the videotapes, you know, were all requested, you know, under, 
you know, an IDR, which stands for an immediate disclosure request, which is, must be fulfilled within 24 hours, you know, or as soon as possible on a rolling basis thereafter, you know, and I think the limit is like 14, maybe 20 days, something like that. Well, you know, it's been well over that, and, you know, you've seen where I've got sent asking the right questions and naturally, you know, the continuation of this. Also, please remember that you must tie this into the denial of my medical records at San Francisco General for this illegal 5150. Um, you know, watch all the intricate players. You know, like I said, it's, 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 it's a beautifully designed system to fail. So, you know, uh, why do I feel like I'm being set up again? Hmm. I mean, what would you think at this point after watching the videos? You know, would you feel safe? Would you feel comfortable after being illegally 5150 You know, and, you know, all the game playing that's happened so far. Would you? So, it's, uh, it's just a question that I think should be put on video. Pulling back the curtain to see if I'm videotaping. Uh, well, I guess they got their answer. Now, mind you, you know, I guess the next thing they'll say is I'm disruptive. Note all the people that are here. Note the fast, courteous, attentive speed at which I've been helped. <sighs> Just interesting questions that, of course, you know, I believe any reasonable man would ask. Mm-hmm. 
Looks like somebody's coming out this way. Hello, are you here for me? No. Oh, okay. Now, you know, this is something that's interesting, which, you know, which I don't believe is legal. There isn't a section quoted. You know, yes, I mean, all persons are subjected to a search if there's probable cause, and, you know, or any other reason. But, you know, this seems very misleading, you know. But it brings up another interesting question, you know. It brings up the question, if they are willing to put up a card or a play card like this, which, in my opinion, does not necessarily state the whole truth, you know, it's, if it's done, it's done from their perspective of security. That would be their risk management, you know, uh, excuse. Well, you know, we're doing this because, you know, we want the police station to be secure, yada, yada, yada. You know, we want the ability to, you know, subject anybody to a search, which then begs the question of, you know, their policies do not, you know, mean that their cameras on the inside must record also from a security point. Um, you must understand the games 
that you know the public servants who have a higher duty to serve and protect you know are playing you know this is beyond dreadful so i'm you know according to this subject to a search but yet should i need you know to be the ability to search the videotapes i'm not allowed that because supposedly you know i can't even get the policies from the san francisco police department which acknowledge whether or not the cameras record um just more more uh what's the term Mm, more more substance to chew on You know, we've spoken about several other issues, you know, the, the, the safety and everything else for the, you know, LGBT safe zone. I mean, should I start to choke now? <laughs> uh, we've spoken about the disability training for ADA and disabled people, uh, you know, that this department is supposed to go under. Uh, if you look at the prior tapes, you've also seen what the responses I've gotten in regard to Title II ADA, you know, people there. You know, if you look at the chief of police tapes and you've seen the misdirect to the mayor's office of disability, which, of course, you know, continues with the game playing by not taking your complaints in public, you know, on video. Once again, another rigged procedure. But, you know, l go to my own private Guantanamo, you know, learn that these are the games they've gotten away with for years. Yes, a civilized society where we look out for those less fortunate than ourselves, where, where the greater good, you know, mankind, humanity, you know, uh, passing it forward. Um, it's, it, it, it's a wonderful illusion when obviously, you know, nothing is being done. Here is the verification of the illusion, you know, these people, I pay taxes all my life, you know, says that my legal rights would be enforced. Uh, I'm still waiting. We've seen how my legal rights were trampled when it came to the false fraudulent 5150. Uh, I think we'll continue to see how my rights are continually trampled when it comes to, you know, pertaining to, you know, the receipt of the videotapes, which prove everything I've said all along. We'll continue to see how my rights are trampled when they try to throw me into a rigged methodology in which I will complain about, you know, this incorrect police report generated by the officer that illegally 5150'd me on that date and what it says and, you know, the implication for, you know, fixing the intelligence. And, no, of course, naturally the fact that they won't be able to take my complaint in public on video, you know, once again proving what I've said all along, rigged, corrupt, false, you know, uh, set to fail. You know, as I've stated all along, whether or not they want to go behind their closed doors and, you know, not do anything correctly falls upon them what they do after they receive my complaint in a civilized society. But for transparency and accountability, you know, what I am doing is not only correct, it is imperative. To circumvent that ability is to, you know, deny somebody not only the due process, but the transparency and the accountability. Well, this thing is vastly approaching 25 minutes now, so I want to see how much longer, because, you know, I can always come back if there's, you know, an immediate problem. Now, mind you, it is 10, 10, 20 on a Thursday, you know, in San Francisco, you know, the metropolis, the, what was it, the, the, the 14th largest city in the county? So, does the term played ring any bells? Does the term inhumanity ring any bells? Does the term non-performance ring any bells? 
does the term accountability ring any bells? I just thought I saw somebody peeking in through the window, so I wanted to be sure, you know, it's not going to be, like I said, a, another fraudulent 5150. These people, you know, you can always trust them to do the incorrect and inhumane thing. Watch the videos. See what you get. See what you learn. Like I said, we're quickly approaching 30 minutes here. I can always come back. Yeah, and post this to YouTube to show the speed, the alacrity, the humanity. <laughs> Shall I start to cry now or continue to just break down and laugh? Professionalism. Uh, our heroes, the police department, the fire department, you know, the medical personnel, our heroes. Hello? 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 Mind you, disability sensitivity training, you know. Respect, compassion, and honesty. It's a safe zone, you know. Ask to speak to an LGBT liaison officer. Would that be like, you know, the psych liaison officer that's never, you know, followed up with me? the single point of contact that the chief of police continues to try to ram down my throat the continual failure in a rigged system hmm. it's a question I think any reasonable man would ask hello hello Fascinating, isn't it? Okay, like I said, this is quickly approaching the 30-minute mark here. I think you can tell, you know, they're just trying to play me, but please realize that, you know, I will leave. And no, this will not validate the fact that I left. It'll just validate the fact that they, you know, couldn't send somebody out timely to help me, that the procedures are set to fail, and that what I'm saying is correct. 
Now, mind you, I still have to follow up on that police report that Mr. Ortega did not take for police report number 13049957, and of course filed the new police report over the fraudulent, you know, uh, illegal 5150 that I was subjected to here at this particular building in this particular location, and of course being given shall we say lies, mm, call a spade a spade, shall we say lies, you know, that uh, supposedly DTIS sets the policies for all the San Francisco police departments for their cameras and, and you know, whether they record or not, you know, along those lines. Um, let the games continue. In a civilized society, let the games continue. All right, like I said, it's past the 30 minute mark. This is, oh, I thought I heard something open. Hmm. Let's try one more time so that they can't say, you know, I'm not the one who's doing everything correctly. Hello? 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 Let's go around to show that you know it's not me. Hello? Okay, once again, Thursday, 10.30, you know, November 14th, San Francisco Police Station, uh, Northern Station, uh, you know, San Francisco 14th, you know, largest city in... Oh, maybe there's somebody here for me. Hello? Hi. Uh, they're supposed to be saying out a supervisor for me? Yeah, okay. Well, you know, it's already been like 20 minutes. Actually, it's not all right. Yes, more of the usual. I'll go check for you. It doesn't mean anything. It won't go anywhere. Another, you know, 30 minutes will probably go by, but I'm not going to wait 30 more minutes. If one doesn't appear in the next five minutes, I will leave. I will give him an extra five minutes because supposedly he was going to go check. Oh, more police cars. What is the meaning of this? Let's see what this is here. Alrighty, let's just continue. You know, you're asking yourself, well, why is he concerned about police cars and everything? I just want to be sure that I'm not falsely, you know, and illegally 5150 again, you know. So it's kind of difficult to watch your back in this station, especially since the cameras aren't doing it because they don't record according to San Francisco police legal. And, you know, of course, I haven't gotten that policy yet. Naturally. Learn the games, the inhumanity, to serve and protect whom? Now, you, you must remember, you know, the ability to file redress and grievance is a constitutional right, you know, a civil right, you know, a right, you know, to be able to, you know, correct and to hold accountable. Only in a civilized society, only in a society that's accountable, only in a society that will help its weakest member. I guess you've learned the game. We don't live in that type of society. So let's go around again. Still no help. Yeah, he was going to go check on it, which of course was, you know, should I believe anything I hear? 
And I guess we'll just go forward from there. All right. You know, I don't ever want it to be said that, you know, I'm the one who's unreasonable. I said I would wait a few moments, you know, to verify whether or not I was told the truth about somebody being not only sent out, but after I knocked and that person came out, you know, and of course played his little part, uh-huh, 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 I'll check for you. There'll be no progress or result on that either. Yes. Uh, it's, it's, it's unfortunate, but does it sort of remind you of, you know, the San Francisco, you know, f hospital failure around, you know, the woman who was found, I think, what was it, 17 to 19 days later in the hospital, dad, you know, uh, where everybody obviously paid, played their part, did the best they could, and yet couldn't find her, and on and on and on. And, you know, the, the capability, mind you, this is 2013. We're not talking about, you know, 1889. We're not talking about, you know, 1940. We're talking 2013. Technology San Francisco, the technology hub, you know, Twitter, uh, Facebook, you know, uh, the technology for whom? NSA to spy on you and, and for them to be able to video record and deny and, and yet you not be able to record back. Uh, it, it smacks of fascism, smacks of totalitarianism. You know, what humanity, what greater good, you know. But naturally, if you keep the people stupid, dumb them down, you know, teach them not, you know, not the ability to, to have critical thought and to ask the right questions, if you, if you, if you, you know, kill all the the lawyers and, you know, deny the journalists their ability, you know, to tell the truth. You know, if you hide things in sunshine by not really complying or, you know, not being held accountable through sunshine, because naturally that's a rigged process, which of course all you need to do is look at the videos that are here on, you know, this, you know, YouTube, you'll see what I'm talking about. You know, you'll learn that the huma inhumanity is all that there is. You know, and as I've stated very many times, you know, who would want to live in a world like this? You know, the proof is here. Do you see them coming out with coffee and tea and donuts and saying, well, Mr. Garza, how can we help you? You know, you, you have a valid claim. You know, you have videos that show and support everything. No, quite the opposite. Uh, well, you can't videotape, you know, uh, you've given us a statement. You know, the transparency, the accountability, the inhumanity, uh, the rig process, you know, again, I will state for the record, who would want to live in a society like this, where, you know, the truth and doing right has no consequence, and doing wrong continues to get you your paycheck because you don't have to be accountable. Now, you know, you might say that I'm being a little judgmental there. Um, you know, treat this as a movie. What are your feelings after watching everything that you've seen on YouTube, after seeing the continual play of inhumanity? You know, uh, am I being inhumane by pointing out the truth? Am I, you know, as per their representation, you know, somebody who has issues, you know, and, and needs help, you know, and constantly following up? Am I, of course, the one to blame? Because I, of course, am the one who is following up. I'm not claiming that, you know, I don't have issues, but, you know, are they magnified by an insane system that treats you insanely and then wonders why, you know, you might respond the way you do? It's an interesting question I think any reasonable man would ask. You know, the question is when, you know, reasonable men do ask and they're not afforded due process or humanity, as I continue to show here, and yes, we are quickly approaching the five minute mark after I told that guy what was going on, and he said, of course, he was gonna go check, that the delay will go on. So here's another person, let's see if they help him, and we'll go from there. Actually, I hope they help him. I don't believe they're gonna help me, so we'll just continue to see what happens. Like I said, I will continue to be in. Again, this is not for me, 
you know, not seeking the help. It's from the game playing, which of course is up to you guys to judge. But you know that I will be back. Here. Oh, let's see what they do here. Because like I said, I was here and they still haven't helped me. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Qué tal? Bien, bien. Uh, yo, yo, yo estaba aquí primero y todavía no me ah, han ayudado. No, no, adelante, adelante. Okay. Uh, how much longer? It's been over 30 minutes. I'm sorry, I'm just walking in. How can I help you, sir? Oh, well, that's unacceptable. Let me let you help this poor, unfortunate person who has a belief that you can offer help. And let me go down and load this on YouTube to prove that I've once again been played because I've been here 30 minutes waiting for a, a supervisor to come out and talk to me. That's what I was told by the prior person. Oh, please. I, I don't need any more delay and harm. I'll come back again, okay. and it, we can continue you with this farce. You, we've talked before today? I didn't say that. Okay. So thank you. All right. I will be back. God bless. You too. Ojalá que te ayuden. I think it's Spanish. So anyway, folks. Oh, well, you know, I just walked in. You know, we'll start the process with you all over again. Sorry. Unacceptable. Inhumane. You know, does that mean the prior person was, you know, incompetent, negligent, non-performing? <sighs> Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it just uh, heartwarming? Anyway, thank you, you know, and I did the next best thing, which was to document. And, you know, like I said, I will continue to follow up on the continual failures and point out the methodology and the psychological abuse and everything else that these professionals <laughs> have put me through. Um, also, I think you will note that I, do never, I have never tried to get anybody else's business or face regarding their issues and the civility stems from me. You know, after not being helped, you know, I graciously stepped aside and let him be helped. You know, in a false belief in a system that he will, in, you know, naturally be victimized by because there is no accountability. Um, you know, it's an unfortunate thing that I can't, you know, help each and every individual person, but I can document so that those watching can learn and hopefully spread the truth. <laughs>